So today, we're gonna remove all the struts from the Passat B5 wagon um, so we can get ready to put the air ride in. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and show you how to remove the, the front struts. Um, strut in there. You have three bolts that hold the top strut assembly on. One, two, three. And then down here we have a 18 millimeter through bolt. Um, so 18 millimeter head and then I just get an adjustable wrench to hold that side. And then that hold the control arms. Uh, there's just a through bolt here. It's a pinch assembly. So we'll just take that bolt out, saturate it and wiggle those free. All right, so I popped that out. Um, and now I just gotta get that one out. So what I'm gonna do is take this all the way out. I'm gonna get something in here, uh, preferably a long flat-headed screwdriver. Pry that open and this should pop right out. And there it is. Control arms, everything's loose. So now all I gotta do is wrestle this thing out of here. Uh, be back with you in a second. All right, so now you can get an idea of what it looks like. Here's the strut assembly out of the car. You have that one through bolt here. You have those three bolts that go in here. One, two, three. Um, and then you have two 13 millimeter heads that hold the strut to this strut assembly. Uh, and then these are our control arms that, uh, that I was trying to pry out there a second ago. Um, but now all I have to do is remove these two 13 millimeter bolt heads um, and put the new air strut right in its place and reverse the order. All right, strut assembly loose. There it is. Old strut, uh, pretty much 100% useless. And then this. All right, so here's the strut, the new air strut mounted in the upper strut assembly. Um, I'm gonna put it upside down on this bench here. I am going to uh, thread seal this and thread my steel braided airline in. I'll check back when it's done. All right, the final part is to get these upper control arms in this so this one went in pretty easily this one uh, I'm gonna get the jack and push it up a little bit and then kind of wiggle this back in place there's no real good way to film it so um, yeah you're, you might have to just uh, you know use your own discretion with this part here because it's uh can be a bit of a pain in the ass and I don't have a you know a go-to method for it all right, so what I ended up doing to get that in there um, was I started jacking this this under the lower control arm very slowly while wiggling this so it stayed straight and it, uh, you know, two, three pumps of the jack and it went right in. So now I'll put the through bolt through, tighten that, and then this side is uh, installed air ride strut assembly. Completely hidden. Okay, now that the front was removed, I'll show you how to remove the rear. This one's very simple. So if you're not taking the shock all the way off, all you have is two 13 millimeter bolts up there, 13 millimeter head bolts. And then one bolt right here goes through. You wanna get an adjustable hang on in there. And then you have a nut on the back and then the, that comes right out. So I'll come back in a second when these are both loose on each side and show you how easy it is to get the spring out. All right, so this is now loose. Um, now to get the shock out is pretty simple. I'm just gonna put some weight on the actual brake caliper and pull 
that shock out. And that's it. And then you have these rubber guards. Pull those right off. And I will uh, start with the install. All right, there we go. So, there it is. I left the rubber, the rubber bushing, um, and I drilled an access hole through this tunnel so I could just put a bolt through it. Uh, the grommet that they provide is not any good, and I didn't want to shave this down just yet, so um, I drilled a hole right through the shock tower. Um, there's another support inside, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I mean, this is a solid, this is a lot of material, so even though I drilled a big hole, um, it'll work. And the bottom's pretty simple. Uh, it just has a bolt under here that'll go through that hole and I'll bolt it from the bottom and then I'll figure out where to put these lines. Uh, but yes, there it is. Bags on the back of a B5 Passat. And remember, you don't have to drill that big ass hole, but I want it to be able to access it with a bolt versus the rivet that they provide. All right, so I'm gonna introduce you to my air management that's gonna go on the Passat. This is the Slam Specialties SV8. Uh, and what it is, is all your valves, everything you need, all contained into one uh, unit. So you have two air supplies, so you can go air in here, air in here in the center, and then four bags. So that's why there are six ports. <clears throat> um, now the cool thing about this is it doesn't take any real uh, wiring knowledge to hook up. I mean, you should know the basics, uh, you know, negative, positive, and maybe how to run a relay. But that being said, this is how it works. This is your valves. This is the wiring harness that plugs into your valves. Now this has a bunch of wires on the end that are exposed, but this main control box that hooks up to your switches also has the same color wires. All you do is put the provided cable ends on here, match the color, and then you're done. And then for your switch, all it is is an auxiliary port. And that auxiliary port, I'll plug it in and show you, plugs in. All right, I realized something as I was uh, editing the video together. I did not put a video of how I ran the rear airlines, um, but I can explain it. And um, if you're at the point where you're, you're putting bags on your car, apparently you have some skill and the ability to do stuff. So you kind of think on the fly, like if there's a way you can think that's better, go ahead and use it. I actually put it under the fender well, followed the contour of it, went behind the rear bumper um, and attach it to the, to the actual bumper support above the exhaust and in front of it so it was nowhere near the heat and then I drilled a hole through the spare tire tub um, and then I ran it up into the trunk so I could uh, attach it to the tank so I don't have a video of all of that because the tank isn't done yet but it will be done in the next uh, probably couple weeks it takes a while to clean that stuff up and make it look good so um, right now I have the cover over it and it looks like shit but the car's bagged I'm test driving around seeing some pressures I like and all that but uh, I made this little video on how to. I'll put some pictures of the car up in the video so you can see it, uh, air it out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video.